Hello world, lockpicking dev here. Today I have an American lock, series 30. And to be completely honest, this one has been giving me a real pain a lot. Um, I have all the American locks, this one in particular. It's not because of the model, I think it's just because of the pins on it. Let me show you why. I gotta click a little feeling out of three there. Sorry, I think that's a four. Yep, I'm click on five. Two. Oh, there's two. The other one was three. Sorry about that. Go. There's almost up and okay. One right here. Spool. There's our open. Wow. I don't know what made the difference for me just now. I tried picking this several times. I used this pick. This is the first time using this pick, just got it open. Second pick, I have not had any luck. And this is a lesson. <laughs> Sometimes just switch your picks. Maybe it'll help you out. Anyways, that was an American Lock Series 30. Got it open here. We will get home, show you what's inside of it. I'll show you why I've been having a problem with the two. Here's the bidding. Like I said, it's not hard bidding. Um, the really lows and low in the back is, you know, tough. But the highs in the front, there's nothing blocking them. We'll get home and gut it for you. Anyways, this is the Petrified Forest National Park Crystal Forest. So all these logs here you see are crystallized, petrified, through thousands of years. Let's see if I can walk up to some of these here. Give you all a view. See the ends of them, they look like rock. But really, it's all crystallized. Very cool can see this one to the right of it has a little shiny crystals at the top that means it's not quite as crystallized as this one so it's newer on the outside and older on the inside and just look at those colors it's very cool Series 30, and I'll be home not soon. And I'll get this for you. All right, everyone. Talk to you soon. All right, we are back home from the Petrified Forest, and I already have this gutted. And just like the Series 10 and the Series 40, the Series 30 was riveted as well. Uh, this is the rivet from the Series 10, if you don't know what I mean. And by that, I mean these pieces were joined together right here inside the lock to hold the shackle in there. So normally you have these two pieces right here. That goes in the shackle area and this goes in our guard right here and to hold it in there. But no, it's it's riveted in there uh, nice and stiff. That way you can't just remove it. So I had to actually uh, drill it out like I did the Series 10 here and replace that with these you know the normal pieces we're used to seeing in there anyways we do have this gutted and typical american lock fashion we do see we have uh serrated bottom key pins uh until it gets to a certain height it's only the two lowest i believe that have no serrations on them and then we see our top uh driver pins there we have serrated spools and then uh, just serrated drivers and there is our bidding which isn't 
honestly uh, that bad at all. And I think my problem with this lock, what's been a problem with me for a while, is um, these just two really high pins right here. I, I don't know why, but I think I just kept oversetting them for some reason. But I finally made it through it. Some locks, uh, they just hit you the wrong way, and that's just what it is. Anyways, this was a Series 30 American lock. And that was the Crystal Forest in the Petrified Forest National Park. Alright everyone, thanks for watching.